One, two, three, please. One, two, three. My name is Angel Jewell. I'm from Twin Falls, Idaho, and I did work with seniors until about two weeks ago, and now I take care of my mother-in-law. I'm an at-home caregiver now. I came to OCC for my husband's surgery. He did the gastric sleeve. I had mine a year ago, and it's his turn. Last year when I was laying in that bed, he was introducing himself, and I was kind of out of it. And he walked up to my husband and rubbed his belly, and he says, oh, big boy, you're next. <laughs> it's fantastic because I'm able to tell my husband what's going on. I've been through it. I know he's in good hands. I didn't have to worry, even though I did worry. <laughs> it's a procedure. But I already knew what was going to happen, and I trusted Dr. Ortiz, so. Oh my gosh, I have collarbones. This is, this is what I'm proud of. I've lost almost a, a little over 130 pounds. I was over 300 pounds a year ago. I had my surgery the day after my 53rd birthday. My 54th birthday will be two days from now, and I feel amazing, fantastic. Wow, I had so many fears, and I actually expected it not to work because everything else had failed. Weight Watchers, every other diet had failed. I hoped it would work, and I just had the mindset that it would, and I know other people that have been here, and they're the ones that got me started, so I've been passing on the good word and helping people understand that Mexico is not a bad place to go and this is a very good hospital and um, I, I honestly did not know what to expect because everything else had failed. I just kind of thought it, here's another shot, <laughs> it's my gamble and it worked, it paid off, <laughs> first gamble that ever paid off. <laughs> Best investment of my life. It's going to help me to live longer. My experience with the staff here last year and this year and with the hotel has been phenomenal. Everybody, they treat you like royalty <laughs> and they're so nice and helpful. We were very apprehensive coming to Mexico because we don't speak the language and everybody here has just helped make that so much easier. Even if somebody doesn't speak a lot of English, we get enough. We have a lot of hand gestures, but we're doing pretty good. So that everybody has been fantastic, and that's what I told when my sister-in-law came here um, in April. You're going to be fine. She came with her daughter, so she was really nervous, but she knew that we had been fine, that, that we did well, <laughs> so it helps. Oh, I can tell you it's a huge difference. I have friends that have been here. Um, the one that got me started, and she had a fantastic experience. I have friends that had it in the States. They're not doing well. They didn't get the nutrition information. They weren't even told what not to eat until two days before. Oh, no, clear liquids for two days. Did not talk to them about nutrition, about what was going to happen. She didn't even know her, her surgery schedule until the week before. And she has not done well. I know several people, they're still hungry and don't get full. <laughs> they didn't do something right. I'm not hungry, I'm never hungry, and I feel fantastic. Food does not ruin my life anymore. I, I have to remember to eat, and mostly because of my family, I've got to feed them. <laughs> but they, they do not do the education and the follow-up at all. And <laughs> they charge an arm and a leg. <laughs> My surgery, when I looked it up, was going to be about $30,000, and the insurance won't touch it. Our insurance won't do it. So here we are, and here I am. <laughs> I wish, my only regret with this surgery is that I didn't do it sooner. I wish I were younger. I'm trying to talk my daughter into it so that she can feel better. She's had four kids, <laughs> and she would feel so much better. I'm looking forward to my husband getting healthy too. We want to grow old together.